Managing files in the operating system is something I still do like a peasant. If I'm editing a video, I usually go to Finder to look it up. If I download a thumbnail for a video, I go to the explorer and move it to the appropriate directory. If I download images that I'll use in a video and want to store them in the same directory as the video, I do it in Finder. And I'm freaking tired of it. Once you become a terminal GigaChat, going out of the terminal to GUI applications like Finder or Microsoft Explorer feels like being kicked in the It's something that you do only out of necessity because ever since you were a teenager, you were thought to use the computer like an animal. Do we spend most of the day in the terminal just because we see other YouTubers doing it? At first, yes, but once you understand how it really works and all the benefits, there's no going back. Once you see how fast you can be, you realize that the terminal is the way to go. Emacs starts to make sense. Is Emacs the answer? Let me know in the comments. So in this video, I'll show you the terminal file emulators I've used so far, what I like about them, and in the following days, I'll keep playing around with them until I find the perfect terminal-based file manager workflow. The first one that I tried recently is called Superfile. So I'm just going to type here SPF and that is going to open the tool. So it looks pretty decent. Looks like a great option. You can create multiple panes. If you type in, you can create them. I can close these additional panes with the uh, escape. You can of course configure all the key bindings. I can use Control D to go down, Control U to go up. It has an integration with Soxide, which is pretty good. So if I type the letter C, for example, and I type part of a directory, like for example, let's type here USP. This is my Spanish channel related videos. I hit enter and it's just going to take me there. And I can see what I have, move inside, see all the stuff that is inside here. I can preview images. Notice that you can see them there on the right hand side. So it looks like a pretty decent option. I found this in YouTube the other day. I was just searching for a terminal file manager. This showed up. I watched this video by Seth Aino or however it's pronounced. Pretty good video. And I thought, man, this is an awesome file manager. Here we can see the website and uh, let's go to the documentation as well or the main site for us, which is GitHub. You can read the instructions pretty well documented. You can find the instructions on how to install it here and all that good stuff. Do you want to promote yourself in my channel? I'm not talking about a company like Notion, Brilliance and all those other ones that we're used to seeing. I'm talking about you as a person. Do you have a project, course, YouTube channel or product and trying to reach an audience? I'm going to leave a link in the video description with all the details, including the pricing and how this will work but probably a 15 second personalized ad inserted into my videos. I was pretty excited until I said, okay, how do I copy from Superfile, which is running in my terminal to my system clipboard? And as of yet, it is not possible. So this is something that I usually do a lot. I need to get a file out of the terminal into a different application. Something else that I didn't like about this too much to go to the top of the page, I don't have like a shortcut. I usually do GG to go to the top and capital G to go to the bottom. But uh, there's no emaps to configure that here. And even if there were, I don't think I could use GG to go to the top of the file because that's two key presses. So that means changing the entire login around, but it's fine. That's not a big deal. So it's an awesome tool, especially the Soxide support, which allows you to navigate really fast to a directory. You can copy and paste from and to different directories and the panes and all that stuff. But I just need something a little bit more involved that integrates with my system clipboard. So then I was like, OK, so should I go back to Yassi? I installed Yassi, I don't know, months ago, and I did try it for a little while and um, I wanted to stay within NeoVim. That's the thing. I didn't want to go out of NeoVim, so that's why I didn't want to use Yassi. Yes, I know you can use it from within NeoVim because there's a plugin as well. But in case that you're wondering, what is Yassi? It also has the same functionality, the Soxide integration. I bring that up with uppercase Z. 
Now let's go to the same directory, UESP, for example. If I type that, it's just going to take me to that directory. I can navigate here by typing right inside the directory. And I can preview stuff as well, right? So here's the preview of a video, the mother video, and images as well. Something that I noticed from Yasi is that it's extremely fast. It feels once you bring it up, once you navigate, you're going to feel that it's really fast. Okay, so why is that? Okay, first of all, let's start. And uh, is it because, yeah, Rust, okay. So once you try something that is written in Rust, you feel it immediately. So Yasi as well is pretty well documented. You can find everything here or on the main page. Pretty amazing tool. So I was like, okay, we are in the same situation here. How do I integrate this tool with my clipboard manager, with my system clipboard? So like we all do, I searched in Google. I found this article here or this issue or discussion, whatever it is. And someone here recommended this plugin. Okay, so I opened this and then I saw this system clipboard that Yassi. If you read the documentation for this, you're going to find an amazing tool that I didn't know about. And it's called the clipboard project which you need to have installed. Basically, this is a wrapper for this other tool that makes it work in Yassi pretty much. Let's open this tool. I'm just going to show you what this is. You're going to be amazed. There's a lot of videos out there already, but I just didn't know about it. Something that I'm wondering or that I'm curious about as well is, is this still an active project? The last release was November 17th, 2024. I assume all of the major work is done and now it's just being maintained. I hope that's what's going on. It doesn't have a lot of issues, just 17. So looking good. And what this tool allows you to do is to integrate with your system clipboard from your terminal. Okay, if you read the documentation, you're going to find a lot of stuff there. Let me just demo it real quick. Okay, there's a lot of examples if we scroll here in the how to use section. So you just use CB copy and then the name of the file. Let's switch to the terminal real quick. So I switch to this directory in my dot files. Let's see what we have here. I have a lot of different images. Okay, so let's try the command CB copy and then you type the name of an image. Okay, so this is the image. Before I enter this command, let's take a look at my clipboard. I just have text so far. Okay, so go back here. Let's run this command. When I typed it incorrectly, it's CP, not CP. Okay, so let's go back here and let's just fix this CP copy. Let's hit enter now. Notice that it says copied one item. Let's bring my clipboard up. Look at that beauty. So it copied from my terminal to the system clipboard. Now from the clipboard, I can drag it or do whatever I want with any other application. So just this tool by itself is just an amazing thing. It's beautiful. And it's not only available for Mac OS or Linux. No, it is also available on Windows. Like who uses Windows? I use Windows now, unfortunately. So awesome. If we go here, you're going to be able to see all the different GUI clipboard compatibility. So notice that you can read and write in X11, Wayland, Windows, Mac OS, Haiku. What is that? OSCE 52, that's a terminal protocol. Custom, I don't know what this is, but this is what we care about and it's available pretty much everywhere. So with this wrapper on that tool in Yassi, you could copy files from Yassi to your system clipboard, which is amazing. I also use another tool in Mac OS that monitors like different folders that I decide to monitor. Like for example, downloads directory and a lot of different ones. I bring that up with just a single key press. If I leave G pressed, brings it up and I can drag stuff from here and to here as well. So if I right click on this folder and I click on edit filter, you will be able to see that this is monitoring these folders right here. Downloads, images, OBS, YouTube, YouTube of Spanish and other ones. So whenever a file is added to any of these directories, it's automatically picked up by this tool so I can drag it from here or to here as well. This is an amazing tool in macOS. It's a wonderful idea. 
If there's a way to do something similar in the terminal, that would be amazing. I'm pretty sure there is. Now, something that I don't know how to do in Yassi, for example, is how to do dual panes. I know that, for example, you can create multiple tabs, right? So if I hit D here, notice that it brings up multiple tabs. I don't even know how to navigate the different tabs. Not exactly sure, but I know how to close them. But I was wondering if there's a way to have dual panes in Yassi. But I'm also wondering, do I really need them? I'm not exactly sure if dual pane file managers are exactly needed because I could just use the tabs instead. I guess I could open another pane in Kitty on the right hand side. If I do command enter, well, that's going to bring it up at the bottom, but I can change the layout really quick and I can bring this up here. So I have two panes pretty much of Yassi. And I'm using my terminal pretty much so I can navigate to a different directory here like GitHub, for example, this one here. And uh, but do I really need this? That's the question. I'm not exactly sure. Can I copy to and from the two different terminal panes like between the two Yassi instances? I'm not sure. I think I'll have to give it a try. Now, when I'm in NeoVim, I use mainly mini dot files. Okay, so I bring that up with letter E. I can do a lot of stuff with mini.files, okay? I can see different directories. The motions work here 100%, so I can go to the bottom of the file, go to the top of the file, I can select multiple files. This is like if you were inside a NeoVim buffer, which is amazing, right? So I just can Y some files, I can paste them. All the key maps that you're used to work here already because you're inside NeoVim, and it's just like if you were inside a buffer. But copying files from mini.files to the system clipboard and back from the system clipboard to mini.files, there's not a great way of doing that. But that is only if you don't know about this clipboard tool. Because now that I know about this, I can easily copy stuff from mini.files to the system clipboard, which is amazing. So maybe I don't even need an additional file manager. Maybe I can stay within mini.files with this integration here, make it work the way that I want. Not exactly sure as I navigate between different sessions. So um, I have to think about it and see what solution works best. I have also heard Matt from the Linux cast talk about multiple file managers. Ranger is one of them. Did I try Ranger? Does it give me Vim motions or is it going to feel like something completely different? What am I looking for in the first place? I'm looking for Vim motions. That's one of the main things. Integration with the system clipboard as well. Dual panes, uh, they're kind of useful. Not exactly sure now, but it wouldn't be a bad idea. I have realized as well that I get lost in dual pane file managers. I mean, the feature is pretty nice. For example, if I jump to the one that I use at the moment in Mac OS, this one is called Forklift and it has dual panes, right? Here you have one and here you have the other one. You can have multiple tabs on each one of the panes. You can drag stuff from here to here or from here to here or to copy stuff from here to here. There's a lot of stuff that you can do, but sometimes I'm just lost. I'm like, okay, so where's the tab that I need to use on this side so i just need to select it or go to it and then where is the tab that i need to use on this side so i waste a lot of time trying to find the source and destination and i could easily do that in yassi with Soxide. go to the first tab then go to the other one open the destination copy something on the source and paste it in the destination so are dual panes really needed or they're just a misconception as well if you think about it, it's pretty similar to having two panes in the terminal. And I rarely do this. I almost never do this. So I think I'm going to stick to one pane at the moment. I'm not exactly sure yet. Let me know what you think in the comments. I also thought about using this other one called Midnight Commander MC because I watch some videos on YouTube as well. After trying Yassi and Superfile, I think this is going to feel like, I don't know, trying a tool that was built in the 80s. I'm not exactly sure when it was built. Must be pretty old. So after using those two, 
Not exactly sure if Midnight Commander is going to be a good option for me. There's a lot of clicking around and a lot of menus, and I don't think I like that. I want to mainly use my keyboard. But let me know what you think about that one as well. So before I let you go, I want to thank the CEO, Web23, Web23.com, also the executive producers, and each one of the YouTube members. Really appreciate all the help. If you want to become a member, I'm going to leave the link in the video description as well. If you want to promote yourself on my channel, I'm also going to leave the link there. Let me know what file manager in the terminal specifically you recommend. Or what do you think about the ones that I shared? If there's any features that I don't know about, share them in the comments. Hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next video.